Remember, remember, we was broke, remember, well, forget me, let me ride the test, but I can't hold my temper. I've been cold and shoulders frozen over, no, my soul December. Open up that window, I've been smoking gas, pedal to that empty yeah. metal. Flippin' heck, look at this car. <laughs> it's like, it's chaos, it's chaotic, but it's subtle. It's got it's subtle chaos. It's one of those, it's an oxymoron. That's what it's called, right? But dog, I just love these details. We kept the carbon hood, obviously everything, the whole body kit remains the same as it was, but we added so many little twists. I love that we just did the graphic right here on the side with the carbon fins. We kept the carbon hood, obviously, with the carbon flexing right there in the vents and on the vents up here up top, but we added some of the graphics on some of the in-between sections here on the roof rails as well and on the antenna. I love it, it's like, it's a business up front, party in the back kind of scheme, and business, I say business very lightly because as you can see, we, we still got some party up front. Business in the front, a party in the back, oh yeah! We are out here in full force shooting for Avalon King. We got shade all the way in from Canada, if you can believe that. We're shooting the Corvette. We got like this weird car wash scene going on right now where it's kind of like Zoolander. That was like the vibe we were going for, like, What's that? Get out of here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. My camera! Leave my. Gabe's supervising. Levi's just making everything more difficult. Shane is literally the only person out here working. He's crushing it though. Look at these shots, dude. Mega shout out to Avalon King, guys. They are the absolute goats. Look at this shot, dude. Oh my gosh. Your master. Oh, Bikini car wash. Come, come back, come back anytime. Guys, <laughs> right, so mega shout out to Avalon King. If you haven't seen it already, there's a link below. We've worked with them before. We love them. You guys love them. Ceramic coating, the best car detailing products on the market. First link in the description down below. Today is a very special day because we're having a very special car delivered. Now you guys might remember from a previous video, we went car shopping with Sky. Sky's my older brother. He's responsible for getting me into cars in general. Now Sky's not here today. He's on vacation and rightfully so. The man deserves a vacation, so he's in Lake Mead right now. So we're taking delivery for his car, a burden I was more than happy to handle. Also, update on the garage, we've got the Long Beach Pearl blue NSX, this is Gabe's. I'm letting him store it here for a while. He's got some stuff going on in his garage. We've got the Corvette, of course, running, not in impound, which is a bonus. And of course, the GTR out here, it's just looking like a whole snack. I love this car. I love how this turned out. It looks absolutely insane. I'm also storing Sky's car for him here until he's back from vacation. So as you can see, we're quickly, <laughs> we're quickly running out of room. We're gonna have to scoot a bunch of this stuff over to make room. This is just, it's just gonna be packed to the brim. Oh my gosh, homie. <laughs> you just came ripping, oh, it's Hudson. Oh, dude, that's who I really wanted to see. What's up, dude? Bro, I just have one question for you. What are those? <laughs> You know I've had these forever. I just never wear. I know. It's always such a special day when you do. Ooh, baby. There she is, dude. That's the one. That's what he bought. It's a Ford Excursion with the trailer. Yay! So Luke doesn't have the inside information, but do you have any guesses? Based on your last video, uh -huh. you're down to 600 LT or a McLaren GT. Knowing uh -huh. Sky, it's a McLaren GT. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Sky was deciding between mostly McLarens, and he ended up picking the coolest McLaren of all time. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, the 600 LT, let's go. Sky, 
that. I thought for sure you were just still cool. He thought yes. he thought you were boring. No. That's what he's trying to say. This is way cool. <laughs> so all MSO, this has like the most option carbon like package that you can get. All MSO carbon. Dude, that rear diffuser is so wheels. insane. So we got Luke volunteering his tribute. That <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with this angle, dude. That's nice. You've been working out? Nope, not even one time. <laughs> Exhaust or not? Exhaust or not? Exhaust, you know it. So this car actually already has an FI valve exhaust on it. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is gorgeous. Let's go. Homie, you're clear. <laughs> you sweating in there? Scott, I did it. <laughs> okay, Luke, give her the beans. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, guys. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you freaking, you picked a good one, man. So again, this has literally the most optioned out carbon package you can get, which includes these, the louvered fenders in carbon. This is super rare to find on a 600 LT. Carbon doors, the carbon roof. Funny story, a lot of these cars were actually optioned out with a carbon wing as well, but they had issues with manufacturing, so they ended up giving everybody pretty much the same wing, and then they credit back the price for the carbon wing. But homie, Everything else is carbon. Look at this car, dude. Oh, I can't get over it. So we're gonna do a quick inspection, which naturally the, the inspection, you know. Sound check. <laughs> It sounds so good. So this car, as you can tell, it does already have some mods on it. It's got an FI exhaust out back. The down pipe is like the whole thing. It's got a tune on it. We need, to, we need to figure out what tune is on it. It's one of those things where he kind of bought the car sight unseen. This guy hasn't even seen this car yet, just in photos. So it's kind of funny the way that McLarens are like categorized, if, if we put it that way. So the 570 is kind of like the baby Mac. The 720S is the Mac daddy. So this is what, the, the middle Mac? This is like brother Mac? Brother Mac. Brother, mi middle Mac? Step. <laughs> also, relatively a good price. This car, 2019 McLaren 600 LT. It's got just under 10,000 miles on it. Again, it's got the $12,000 HRE. It's got the FI exhaust. It's got a tune on it. Sky picked up the car just under his budget at $240,000. You guys know the drill, track, track, active, manual. We're keeping traction control on though. This car makes, it probably makes 650 wheel, maybe 700. <laughs> we gotta be careful though, we don't have a radar detector right now. Be careful. Keep it together, Seven. So now the question is, is three better than one? Because we've got three cars. I have the GTR, I have the Corvette, and I have the RX-7. And if you total all that up, probably sell the GTR for 85,000 roughly. Plus uh, the Corvette, built motor, the wide body, all that kind of stuff. Say we sold that, probably, mm, I don't know, I'd ask like 60 for it, okay? And then we've got the RX-7, single turbo, all that kind of stuff. We'll call it 40, 45K. That's $190,000 roughly total value on all my cars. 
This car was $240,000, that's what Sky paid for it. We're starting to get in that neck of the woods. I've always opted for three cars being better than one cool car, but is that truly the right option? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Do we stay the course that we're on with the GTR, the Corvette, the RX-7? It's funny, because being in that zone where like, I've just kind of purchased cars that are like under that $100,000 mark, because like growing up, that's all I really ever dreamed about. Being honest, the Corvette is something that I never thought that I would ever, ever own. And I'm so glad that I bought it. I'm so glad that I forced myself to experience something new. And I feel good, I feel right about everything. But then I look at something like this and I'm like, am I, am I on the right path right now? Either way, in due time, we're gonna be putting a McLaren in the garage. Mark my words, because I don't know, man. It looks pretty dang good in here. As usual, if you guys made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. On that note, see you next video. Ooh.